Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alton, as you already know. Thank you for continuing to tune in with me as I bring you insightful information on automobiles of different makes, different model. Today, we're gonna be focusing on the 2021 Volvo XC40 Recharge, as you can probably tell by the seats here. Uh, with the Recharge from Volvo, this is an XC40 there again. Uh, they have now come out with what is called one pedal drive. Some of our other competitors may have had one pedal drive in their all hybrid or either all electric vehicle. But for Volvo, this will be their first time with their current lineup of automobiles. Now this is probably something that's going to be coming into the future as well as they begin to span the electrification along their whole line of automobiles. So it's definitely something worthwhile and getting to know. Of course, one pedal drive is simply driving the vehicle using one pedal. Uh, primarily the gas pedal. Applying pressure or releasing pressure from the gas pedal will not only accelerate you at a faster pace, but it will slow you down as well. So much so to where you particularly don't need to use a brake. You will have two pedals in the vehicle, as I will show you. With use of the pedals, you can drive the vehicle as normal, but if you just wanted to use the gas pedal, you can brake slow down and you never have to go to the brake pedal once you learn to use it. So stay with me and I'll show you the ease of driving the vehicle with one pedal drive. So as I mentioned before, you do have two pedals. You have the gas pedal over to the right, you have the brake pedal over to the left. And we're gonna be using the gas pedal to gas a vehicle, but when we release the gas pedal, that's gonna be a way for the vehicle to conserve some of that energy and also help to recharge the battery a bit, but at the same time, brake you as well. Depending on the pressure you're applying to the gas pedal, that will be accelerating and also slowing down at a slower pace. So this is the one pedal drive in action. As you can see, along the top of the dashboard here, I'm moving along, my foot, I'm gonna move my foot off the brake pedal here. My foot is only on the gas pedal, so if I'm coming up to this turn here, I can simply lighten up on the gas pedal, I instantly slow down, and when I want to accelerate, I can apply more pressure to the gas pedal. Now I'm just gonna kinda drive around here for quite a bit, because you can see the road, you can also see my foot on the gas pedal. You can see the buildings going back, so you know I'm not lying to you, I'm actually moving along. So my foot's on the gas pedal, foot's off the brake pedal. I'm just trying to get the proper clearance here. So you can truly see, there's no use of the brake. So I'm getting ready to take a right turn. Go ahead and turn on my turn signal. There's a car behind me. And I can slow down by taking my foot off the gas. Just enough to slow down. And then of course, if I come forward, there's another turn there. I can just lighten up on the gas. You don't have to take your foot all the way off. You can lighten up on it just enough to slow down to make the turn. And just to show you as well, if I was parking, looks it's relatively the same thing. So I'm pulling into a parking spot here and not gonna touch the brake at all. So I can go right in, take my foot off the brake and I'm parked. I'm not gonna continue to go forward so you can see where I'm parked. So quite nicely. And in addition, I can also come here to show you how I'm parked as well. 360 camera, parked perfectly. Never put my foot on the brake. So from here, I do have to touch the brake because now I've got to push forward to shift into reverse. So I can go ahead and back up. I've got cross alert. I've got my camera going here as well. We're going to go ahead and go forward. So now I'll use the brake to shift into drive. Going to show you a little bit more action here because we're going to hit the boulevard to where I'm going to have to accelerate to merge into traffic. An awesome vehicle from the standpoint, 400 horsepower. 400 horsepower definitely moves you along. Just feels like the wind is moving by you uh, from a power standpoint or just driving the feeling here inside of the vehicle. One of the most important places here on the boulevard. No, not Supercuts, but Starbucks. 
So we've got a red light coming up, foot off the brake, foot off the gas completely, in a stop position. When I do want to go forward, I can simply press the accelerator, as I'm wanting to do now. Which, as you can see, that's the brake pedal. Foot's on the gas pedal only. I'll go ahead and shift lanes here. So even if I sped up, I can release the pedal. If it's an emergency stop, just totally release the pedal. Or I can just take my foot off as I'm doing right now. Foot's off the pedal, I'm in a stop position. Vehicle holds me in place. Now I'm gonna ease off. I'm gonna show you exactly what happens if you take your foot from the pedal. I come to a complete stop. Emergency brake comes on because my driver's side door is open. Now, I can't shift in the gear, nor can I take off simply because my door is still open, as I mentioned before. So what I must do now is close my driver's side door, shift in the drive, and I can take off. But just to show you in action, my foot on and off the pedal while going along, and what it takes to drive a one-pedal drive vehicle. Hopefully you have enjoyed this look at the Volvo XC40 Recharge. Of course, this is the one-pedal drive there again from Volvo. Um, that's going to be implemented, I'd imagine, along the whole line of their vehicles as they continue to move along because they're going to be introducing the all-electric or electrification of all their models along the whole model lineup. Um, this is something quite nice that I just thought of doing here because I can't stay with you the whole day. I've got to go.